Hey guys, Nikki from Love of Dirt. Welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to show you my potato harvest. I finally had a bit of success and I tried a few different experiments kind of inadvertently but um, I'm gonna share with you today some tips that I've learned this year we've been trying to grow potatoes for a long time and get a decent harvest um, and we've just trying to been just been trying to figure out the best um, time to sow here in the subtropics we've had a lot of failures we've been trying to grow these these things for about nine years so um, yeah I'm gonna show you some tips from uh, what I've learned from this season of growing potatoes so I kind of inadvertently did this experiment simply because I just didn't have potting mix at the time. So I filled one bag up with a commercial organic um, premium potting mix. Um, the second bag I only had mushroom compost, so that, that bag got mushroom compost. And the third bag was basically 50% worm castings and 50% percent, percent um, pine bark mulch. So initially I didn't really notice too much of a difference in their growth stage, but um, definitely the commercial potting mix did sort of progress. There was a lot more leaves. Um, the mushroom compost just sort of struggled along and the worm castings, it didn't get as huge as the commercial potting mix, but it did look healthier and there was less bug damages. So the grasshoppers weren't jumping on those ones. The ladybugs weren't trying to eat them, the bad ones. Um, so there was a bit of a difference in growth. So about a month later, um, I planted in some smaller pots um, simply because that's just what we had at the time. And I used the same potting mix throughout, but the main difference was with four of them, I actually used, I inoculated them with mycorrhizae fungi. Um, so I left four with the inoculation and then I left two just sort of as a control group just to see if there were any major differences between growth of those. So all of them got the same um, love. So I would regularly feed them with um, seaweed um, solution and occasionally some fish emulsion. Um, and yeah, we just watered them and, and that was it. Just left them to their own devices. So the reason why I harvested when the leaves were still green, normally I wait for them to fully die back, is because we had a forecast of a lot of rain. So I kind of figured that I'd be better off pulling them out, getting the baby to new potatoes rather than letting them rot in the ground which is what typically does for us and that's why we fail a lot with potatoes here in the subtropics um, so I did pull them out a little bit earlier um, and they're because of the month difference you can definitely notice that in the harvest so the first bag that we harvested was the commercial potting mix now this one was pretty true to what we what was set on the packet we get around eight eight potatoes from one seed and we got that and they were decent size they were probably the best out of the whole lot um, we did have some issues however there was a bit of scabbing the second bag was the mushroom compost and this is probably the one that did the poorest um, of all uh, so the the mushroom compost wasn't a premium um, mushroom compost um, and then I should have added a little bit of extra things but I didn't but it, it had the worst results now the final bag from the, the big bag lot was the uh, worm castings. And this one was actually, it was still a lot greener than the other plants. We got a lot of tubers off this one, probably um, almost double what the commercial mix was, but they were a lot smaller. And I'm kind of wondering if I had left it a little bit longer, whether they would have gotten bigger. These were the only ones that didn't have any disease. So I'm going to guess that the moisture um, held up really well when we went away. So you can he see here from left to right, we have um, the worm castings and they were the best ones. Um, the middle ones was the mushroom. So you can see how little we got from that. And then the standard um, potting mix, um, commercial potting mix. So that's sort of a very similar conditions, just different potting mixes and different results. So it does really pay to have a really good quality potting mix if you're growing um, potatoes in containers. So next is the pots. So these ones were a lot greener, as you can see. Um, and these first lot are the ones that we didn't inoculate with mycorrhizae. Uh, so we didn't get many. <laughs> You can see here that there's just the one from that one pot. 
The next pot had a, a few more, but they were quite small. Um, nothing to really note. So now we have the ones that were um, inoculated with mycorrhiza. You can actually see the roots were a lot more robust with these guys. So we got a lot of little potatoes from these um, and they weren't anywhere near being um, finished. So if, if the rain wasn't coming, they probably would have grown for another month and these potatoes would have been really a decent size. So I'm really happy with the results of this. It would be also interesting to see if they would have got to the full size because they were in probably a half size pot compared to the other ones. You can see some here do also have the potato scab as well, which is just unfortunate due to probably not watering um, when we went away. Harvest on the ones that were inoculated, so not a great harvest, um, but way, better, way more than the, the couple we got from the ones that weren't inoculated. Excuse my lovely fingernail polish that my son gave me, but um, here's a, a problem that we had with um, some of the potatoes. I believe um, this is from not getting enough water um, at a certain point of the growth. Um, so obviously these ones won't keep for that long, um, but um, basically it's probably a consequence of us going away on holidays and not watering them um, in the pots and also growing in pots. If they're in ground, they probably would have been okay. Okay, to sum up some of the tips that we've learned over the past nine plus years of growing potatoes here in the subtropics. The first one is timing. We find that timing it um, planting after the winter solstice um, so around late June to early July is the best time for planting it avoids um, the humidity um, that can cause a lot of problems with rotting and so forth the next tip is to really go premium with your soil mix so if you're not planting direct in a garden bed um, make sure that you choose a good quality potting mix if you're doing it in pots like we do the third thing is to really know your potato variety. There are so many different ones out there, um, but the big thing that we've learned is that there are like tomatoes, determinate and indeterminate varieties. So the indeterminate varieties are the ones that you hill up and then you get more tubers as the plant grows and the determinate ones will just have a determined set of potatoes. So they, they probably need like a bigger growing space, um, and but they don't need to be hilled up. The next thing is to inoculate with mycorrhiza and this is probably more only really relevant if you are using pots or containers but it is giving that um, giving that boost um, helping the plants form that symbiotic relationship with the fungi so the plants can get everything that they need and finally is um, keeping the water up to them so you saw with ours we did get that um, potato scab and that was due to us not watering when the tubers were setting um, so yeah, they don't like the humidity, but they still do like water. So make sure that you keep the water up to them. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you give us a thumbs up um, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.